We've got a bunch of electric vehicle news mixed in with a good dosage of hot hatch stories for you today. VW has a couple more golfs on the way. Kia leaks a couple images of its Pro Seed GT. Nissan gives the Nismo treatment to its Leaf. And Ford runs out of juice with its Focus Electric. Plus, an overzealous racer takes a loss. And a new FLD feature I'm going to tell you all about. What's up? I'm Derek D. And you uh, are watching Fast Lane Daily. Yelly! Guess what, guys? What? FLD has an app. Woo! Oh! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Alright! That is right. A lot of you guys have asked for it, and that is right. The Fast Lane Daily app. It's easy to use with some simple features. Shows you our newest episodes, our most popular episodes, and you'll get updates when a new episode is live. Just keep those push notification settings on for FLD, plus we can send custom notifications, which is really cool. Just search FLD in the iTunes or in the App Store on your Apple device. It's currently only available on iPhones, iPads, and iPod Touches. The FLD app, download it today for free. It's free. The link is in the description. Click on it, download it. All right. To the news we go, but that FLD app is good news, Max. Good news. Great news. VW, well, they just recently took the wraps off their seventh generation Golf, and now a couple new variants for the 2014 model year. You got an all electric version, and of course, you got the Golf R. Let's start with the EV. It will be the first battery powered Golf ever, selling in three or five door styles. The E Golf will probably gain a couple hundred pounds over the normal Golf from all that technology and battery weightage and should go 170 miles on a charge, but it's not going to be cheap. Something in the $50,000 range for an electric Golf. Now as for the hotter hatch, the R, that has been teased in this single image, and that will say what's up in Geneva. Be rocking 290 horsepower. Say what, said the Focus ST about that. And that's from a turbo four-cylinder sent to all four wheels via seven-speed dual-clutch transmission or DCT. That means 0 to 60 in the same amount of time it takes you to count to 5.3 seconds. And the price tag is about $50,000 as well, but you get more performance, Tom, which in my opinion is better. Absolutely. Speaking of hot hatches, we mentioned Kia's plans to reveal the Pro C GT at Geneva in March. Well, a leak has sprung and we got some pictures of the front and profile view. Now even though the name Pro C, in my opinion, is terrible with that underscore and apostrophe going on there. This car does look impressive. The outlines of this car reminds us of the Euro-only Renault Megane RS or Opel Astra OPC. So yes, we dig this Euro-styled sexiness. Now, good looks won't be the only bonus. It's set to use the Hyundai Veloster's turbo 1.6 liter GDI engine, making just over 200. <laughs> you like that? That paired with a six-speed manual and a sportier suspension will make this quite the fun little whip. Nice. Ford's EV push has been hit hard lately. First, their brand new Fusion Energy was bested by the 2014 Honda Accord EV right after it was revealed. And now, their Focus Electric has hit a wall. In 2012, Ford built over 1,600 Focus EVs, but it was only able to sell 685 of them. That gamble and loss has meant that the extra inventory sitting around needs to be sold at a major discount. How much of a discount, you ask? Well, if you lease the Focus Electric, you're getting a $10,000 rebate. Seems like a lot, and it is. But consider the Nissan Leaf is already over 10 grand cheaper than the Focus EV. But then again, the Leaf looks like a friggin' egg. Hey, Ford, don't worry. You can't win them all. You know, you win some, you lose some. The EV game is down right now. That's it. I ain't mad at you. Speaking of the Leaf, Nismo has got their hands on the model and they want to make it look less, how do I put this, uh, repulsive and uh, eggy. Nismo recently revealed a Nismo Leaf concept, as you can see here, and it apparently uh, got the go-ahead to be produced in limited numbers. Now, before you go imagining a drift-ready Leaf, I must inform you that the Nismo treatment will only include visual changes. And in my opinion, uh, not the best ones. Still, in-house tuners getting to EV models could be cool. Think about a TRD racing Prius or a Honda Insight SI. You know, eventually it'll work. It'll be cool. Moving on. 
So we know racers are anxious to get started. But this dude is a little too quick on the throttle. Watch the red racer here. He revs the engine a bunch of times, and before he knows it, he gave it too much gas, and the back wheel got too much grip, and boom, on his back he goes. My favorite part, though, is the other guy in the yellow helmet didn't even flinch. I don't even think he looked at the red racer. He then just takes off like a boss. Boss. Yeah, but looks like that hurt. But hey, a little too quick on the throttle. Anyway, if you want to see the whole video, the link is in the description. That will do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Hey, don't forget to get that FLD app, okay? You can download it. The link is in the description. Also, Twitter, follow us on there. Facebook, like us on there. YouTube, please subscribe. We ask you every day. iTunes, you can watch us there. Instagram, pictures every day. T-shirts, you wear them, okay? I'm going to go now. You have a good day. Goodbye, my friends. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! All right, you, a, lot of you, a lot of you guys have asked for it. That wasn't take 14. Five, take 26. It's not 26. <laughs> to the news we go, Max. And that FLD app was good news. It was good news. It was. <laughs> to the news we go. As if the news of that FLD app wasn't great. Right. As if. Let's go to the news, Max. That FLD app was good news, though. Yeah. It was. VW. We got it. We got it. <laughs> <laughs>